Yo guys, what's going on? Scorpius here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Zure video. Now, I haven't done one of these in a very, 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 very long time. It goes all the way back to Vanilla Destiny, so it's been a good while. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys what Zure brought and what I think about the items he brought with him today. So while I do the sprinkler here on the side, let's go talk to our buddy Zure. To start off with, he has an exotic, heavy Legacy Engram. Now, before you guys go off and buy a few of these, you guys have to know that this does not give you any year two exotics. It only gives you year one exotics that you are missing. So basically they've made a system where supposedly it's a smart system and they only decrypt into things that you are missing. So if you're missing a Thunderlord from year one, you can go ahead and grab this. Now the cool thing is that you have uh, exotic blueprints. So if you're missing a Thunderlord and you kind of want a year two Thunderlord now, you can hopefully decrypt the Thunderlord out of this and go to the exotic blueprints and buy yourself a year two Thunderlord from this. Uh, you should be able to get enough legendary marks in a week's time. I have 171 and I got that in a week's time. So you should be able to get enough legendary marks in a week's time to buy yourself that exotic weapon that you want. So anyways guys, no, this will not give you year two, only year ones that you're missing. And Next up is the Immolation Fist. Now, I would recommend that you guys get this because it grants explosive pyre. So basically, it, it basically unlocks the subclass node for your Sunbreaker Titan. And uh, I have these at 310, so I'm not going to go ahead and grab them. Now, here is the Celestial Nighthawk. For this, I definitely recommend that you guys grab this, especially if you guys are struggling in the Oryx raid or on the Oryx part for the King's Fall. Because uh, one of these and a few shots should stun Oryx, or two of these should stun Oryx. So I definitely recommend that you guys pick up this Celestial Nighthawk. It's definitely a beast. It turns three of your Golden Gun Bullets into one Golden Bullet that does six times damage. Alright, and next up we have the card of Praxic Fire. Although I haven't used this at all in this DLC, it was a beast in year one. It increases your agility and decreases ability cooldowns. So, if you guys want this, it's not bad. It's not bad. I recommend you guys grab it too. Sir really brought a good inventory this week, to be fully honest. And uh, next up is an exotic helmet Ingram. So, this this right here will decrypt into a year two exotic, unlike, unlike the uh, heavy weapon Ingram. So, if you guys want to grab yourself some exotic uh, helmet Ingrams and decrypt it into some helmets you guys will be getting year two exotics out of this now this is the reason we came here for we came here for the three of coins so without any further ado i'm gonna be grabbing a whole bunch of these now if you guys aren't aware of what this does is it gives you a chance at dropping an exotic ingram on your next ultra kill so let's see how many of these i can actually buy that's three i believe four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12, I feel like I miscounted, 13, 14, and 15. No, that might have been correct. So we bought a total of 15 of these. Let's see how many we have total. We have 82. Holy shit, we just spent all our strange coins on these. Now, if you guys don't realize why I grab these, is because they're extremely, extremely useful. You can get any year two exotic to drop out of these exotic Ingrams that bosses now drop. It's really, really amazing, and uh, I just rather get as many of these as possible. Unless they bring something that is terribly, something I need from year two. And it's something I really need. But anyways, these three of coins are a thing to go for in year two. Of course, all these are really good, but I have most of them except for the Heart of Praxic Fire. And then again, I can just go buy it in the Exotic Blueprint, which is like, I believe, 125 Legendary Marks anytime I want. So, I'm not worried about it. By the way, guys, if you guys are dropping Exotic Ingrams and decrypting them, these Exotic Ingrams do decrypt into 290 Light Weapons and Armor. Unless you are level 300, then they have a chance to drop at 310. So guys, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I haven't done a sure video in a long time, so I hope you guys really, truly enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Subscribe, by the way. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.